What's up everyone, my name is Soren Iverson. I'm a product designer at Cash App, and today I'm going to show you how to design and prototype text fields like the ones that they have in material design. If you see on their site, they have filled and outlined options. Today, I'm going to show you how to design and prototype this text field in Figma. Let's go ahead and make the active instance of this field first. I'm gonna type email as the text that will show up in this field. I'm gonna hit A to apply auto layout. I'm gonna add a stroke. I'm gonna reduce that to a lighter gray. Let's make the border radius of this be eight pixels. We'll reduce the spacing between elements to eight. That doesn't do anything right now, but if I added two pieces of text here or an icon here, it affects this space. Now let's change this to 16 pixels. Change this to 12 pixels. We'll set to width to something like 320. And we'll also go in here and set this to fill container. Now let's get that label up on top. I'm gonna to put all of this auto layout frame in another frame. And then what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna duplicate that text box, but I'm gonna remove auto layout. I'm gonna change our label font size to be 12 pixels, 12 pixel line height. I'm going to add a frame to this selection. I'm gonna add, uh, let's say four pixels of spacing on either side. And then I'm gonna add a fill here. I will push this up so that it overlaps with that, just like you see here. Let's actually reduce this again a little bit. And then we'll put this back. Let's change this to the brand or active color. In this case, we'll use that purple. We'll also set the, set the field to be like that. And then we'll change this to be that ready to type indicator. Now we have our basic text field that has been activated or clicked on. But let's make the normal state of this. So what we're gonna do is we'll take all of this. I'm gonna take this label up here. And this is where it gets a little tricky. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this fill. I'm going to set this to 16 pixels and this to 20. And then I'm gonna set this fill color to more of a gray. And then we're gonna move this down. We're gonna match up with this element here. So right now this text is 16, 10, 10. So we need to move this down two more. And then we'll take this filler text. And we're gonna hit zero twice to remove it. And we'll change this outline and then make that a little bit, a little bit lighter gray. Let's call this default. And we'll call this active. Now if I select both of these, I'll create a component set. I'm gonna call this component text field. And I'm gonna property and I'm gonna call this state. Now if I select this, drag it out here, if I click on the drop down, we'll see it goes from normal to active. We'll click on this layer, drag to the other one, say on click, change to state active. In animation, we're gonna click on this drop down, we're gonna to go to smart animate. We'll use this ease out function. And on the timer here, it defaults to 300 milliseconds, but if you look at material design's guidelines, they actually want something a little bit snappier and shorter. So let's do 150 milliseconds here. And then I'll select this, drag to the other side, and you can see it preserves all of the settings that I previously used. So on click, change to, so on click, change to, default, smart animate, ease out, 150 milliseconds. Now let's see this in action. You can see on the screen I have the email field. If I click on that, that text that was the placeholder will switch to the label and then that placeholder text, it fades in. This is a pretty simple trick, but it makes it easier for developers, designers, and product managers who might not be familiar with material design to understand the intended interaction that you want. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you now understand how to design text fields according to the guidance of material design and how to add them to your prototypes. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Soren, and I'll see you in the next video.